In today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite runs in Madden 21. I think this might be one of the best running schemes all around when you put it together in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, I want to encourage you right now to go to the bottom right hand of the screen and click subscribe because we post four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help you improve in some type of practical, tangible, or conceptual way. So uh, you can also click that notification bell icon as well. We live stream every single night from 10 o'clock to about midnight uh, Eastern time. So we go live every night around 10 o'clock. All right, guys, this is this is uh, pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've been I tested this out. I came across this kind of honestly by accident, but um, I was I was testing this out. The shovel option We're in the Arizona Cardinals playbook and the run play is shovel option. We're just going to go get some random defenses here. And what I want you to know is there's a couple of things that I want you to know. First and foremost, this little pitch here, and obviously we're going to get off to a great start, classic Madden. Uh, I want to jump over. I want to make sure. I'm going to bring two controllers into this, though. Um, so let me pause the game real quick here and bring my second controller in because I want. there's a reason why this run is so effective. It's because the settings of the game don't necessarily allow you to defend this like they probably should. So, like, for example, what most people are going to do is they're going to put in their coaching adjustments, and we'll go out and do that in just a second. Here you see, here you see the run, and you get a lead blocker from your your QB. But what most people are going to do against this run, first and foremost, is they are going to put their set. They're going to go into their settings here, and they're going to go to coaching adjustments. And most people will have this on by default. They will uh, they will play on conservative on option. What this means is they're always going to take the quarterback. Now, here's how we can play to this, this to our advantage. Because they're always going to take the quarterback, what we know is that the shovel option, number one, number one, Madden 21, you get pretty decent inside blocking, at least in my opinion. And so what you can do, because they're always going to take the quarterback, ah, I meant to go to the other guy. Um, but basically what you do is you hit R1 to pitch it to the, 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 the right side back and L1 to pitch it to the left side back here. So what I like to do is just pitch it right here to the running back. And I need to be a little bit more out there. But once you get out there, what you'll see is this, this running lane is going to open up pretty nicely right down the middle of the field. What makes this run so effective, at least in my opinion, is you can do a plethora of things. Um, as you see here, if I wait, you know, I can get a good pitch out there to Mike Ingram. Um, but you can also – we'll show you this right here. This little inside pitch, I'm telling you right now, even when they know it's coming, even when they know that's coming and they're doing everything they can to stop it, what you're going to find is this is going to get you a consistent three to four yards because of the fact that the reach animations in this year's game are so significant. Um, it's really going to help you significantly. So literally just run this right here. You see how the red sea kind of parts and that's goal. I think that was a goal line defense. That's what I'm talking about with this run. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to wait till the timing is right. And then you're just going to pop this run. And most of the time, like I said, you're at least going to get three yards. Um, I haven't, I have yet to be stopped in online head to head for less than two to three yards with this run. The reason that's significant is because when you're going for two or you're in a situation where you need a, a run play for a short yardage, this is an, a nice run play to do that. What's also nice with this formation is you can actually, it's not the only run, but you see here, you can pitch it out and you can get a lead blocker. It's pretty good because they can't option the running back if they're running on conservative. They can't really take the running back. And if they do take the running back, what I like is there's never really, they never really take this, this L1 guy. That's why I'm talking about why it's so consistent. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here, I'm going to option the running back. I'm going to tell my guys to play the running back. You'll see here, even when I tell them that, the coaching adjustments don't allow that to occur. As you can see, they're still going to take the quarterback. The reason that's significant is because most people aren't going to think that they have to change their coaching adjustments. So you can literally run this shovel option play and basically spam this play. I literally ran this play with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, and I ran this play every single play and I went 21 for 21 with like a ton of rushing and passing yards and end up winning the game. I scored on every single drive with this run play. Literally, it's the only play I ran the entire game. Um, now, granted, you know, was I playing best competition? No, it was a lab game, and I understand that. But what I'm trying to get you to see with this is I really think this run is pretty dang good. And I think actually, you know, for those of you guys that, that have my Arizona offense – 
we're going to be talking about an entire scheme that you can do off of this run. So if you haven't picked up the guide, go ahead and pick that guide up. The link is in the description. But you see how – and what you'll see is what I like about this pitch play also is if I get wide with, with, um, with Lamar, what it's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to – Get out here and then pitch it right in there. And you see that pulling guard is going to kick out that, that blitzing middle. That's one of the other things about this run. And you just want a quick peek here. But oftentimes, I feel like this is open. Now, let me show you one other thing, one, one other little trick. What a lot of guys like to do is they like to pass commit. Well, if they pass commit on this run, it is not going to work. Because this, this run is designed essentially as a passing play. So as you see here, J.K. Dobbins is able to consistently work up the field. Now let me show you uh, something else that you're probably going to see online. You're going to. This is what I would do against this. I would try to man him up, pass commit. You're going to see it's going to leave it even more open because the man up is not going to. They're not going to do anything because you're technically still in a running play. Now you can actually. And, and, and one other thing here, I do want to show one other thing. I want to show you what happens if you change your coaching adjustments to aggressive. I do want to show that just to show you. The entirety of what this run can do for you. This run is very effective. Again, I, you know, I would not recommend spamming it as much as I did in that game, but I would recommend mixing this in. And you call this run at the right time, this thing's gonna pop for you. I think it's a really, really good short yardage run. Um, I actually love this run short yardage because you're, you're literally, it's just like um, you've seen like Kansas City do the little quick pitch to Travis Kelsey. What I like about this is literally you're gonna get out here, come back right in here. And the defense is going to over pursue itself out of the play. Literally, the defense is going to take itself out of the play with this, you know. And you could easily you could pitch early, and you see you see the amount of control the game gives you over your player. To me, that's what makes this run so powerful. And here, here it is. That's option on a that's co um, coaching adjustments aggressive. What coaching adjustments aggressive means is they're always going to take the running back. Well, they're taking the running back, and I'm still able to get the pitch out there, and I'm still able to get Lamar out there as a lead blocker. Isn't that significant that you can run inside and outside within the same running play? The defense can't – see how they don't go? If you run right at the player that's supposedly supposed to be guarding the running back, they're not going to do it. Here, let me make a QB adjust or a little adjustment here. We're going to go option the running back. Look, he still doesn't get out there. And you can run this quick pitch. And what I like about this is even if they do that, even if they do all of that to stop that outside run, let's just say they're able to stop it. They're not – this run right here is the run that I think is the harder run to stop of the two runs because you can't use her this run. You cannot use her this run. That's what makes it so powerful. And look how the blockers – like, I just think this run, literally what they're going to have to do is they're literally going to have to blitz everybody. The guy I was playing slowed it down a little bit in the, very, in the very, very end of the game. But the reason is because he literally blitzed everybody. He blitzed his entire team. Well, what that allows then is you to go to a play like PAFL slide, and then you could just pop these little um, this little post route. And, of course, I throw a pick when I'm when – I'm, getting excited here but literally let's say they run you know nickel normal overstorm brief let me show you this this overstorm brief you see how this can kind of pop now again if you work with the timing of this and i i think it's you know i'm probably not getting the timing exactly perfect on this run but if you work with the timing on this learning how to time the pitch you're going to be able to really do some damage like this thing is i mean it's just such a good run i don't feel like i I've, I've yet to throw an interception on this little option pass or get picked off or whatever. Never happened. This has been very, very consistent for me all the way through um, that I've been using this. But you see, I mean, this little quick pitch, and you're going to get two to three. You're going to get two to three. You're going to get two to three. The game's not going to – they're not going to do anything. You can see here, you're going to go two to three. What I like about that is that's a consistent two to three that you can count on, which, let's be straight, you know, running the ball. Everybody loves to run the ball this year but in my opinion with the way the reach animations work and the way everything works this year this run could be one of the best runs in the Madden because you can do two things in one actually you really technically you can do three things in one but you'll see here you know I can still run with Lamar I wouldn't recommend running with Lamar I would recommend either pitching it to the running back or pitching it to the to the other guy but you see I'm going to run right at my guy and then I'm just going to pitch it out and you see we're able to get out and go it's just a very, very difficult run to stop, and I wanted to share this with you guys. It's something I labbed up a little bit on Sunday. Um, 
as I was watching the Cowboys game. Just thought it was really, really effective. But if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Again, we got more videos coming today. We've got uh, a live stream tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time that you guys can check out. So make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you have the notifications on to do that. But try this run out. Tell me what you think. I think this run is really good. I think triple options are actually fairly effective this year. But I also think this run specifically right here, because of how significantly um, it's just difficult to use with the run. And, you, and what you can do, one last tip before we go, what you can do is you can wait, 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 wait. Now pitch it. Once the blockers have all set up, you, your, your window to pitch the ball is still open. So I can wait, 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 wait. Now pitch it. See how the see how the the defense has completely shifted to Lamar. You're able to get that quick pitch in there. I just I'm telling you, this runs good. This runs really good. Nickel double a gap is probably going to do the best job against the run just because everybody's down the middle. But you know you're going to be able to tackle with the pitch. You know, but see here, see how you can get the blocker set up and then you're just out like ah, just such a good such a good run. Try this run out. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have a Madden question, text in. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. Would love to hear from you. Be sure to join the Discord as well. Uh, I, I've been talking with some people in the Discord about this run a, a lot. So be sure to join the Discord. Discord link is in the description below. That's the best way to lab because you're going to be able to get around better players who are going to make you better. See ya.